And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. The World Series on MLB The Show coming up. It's the San Diego Padres taking on the New York Yankees. With Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. And as we get set for Game 5, Chris, it seems like this series could still have a few twists and turns in it. Well, being down three games to one, calling it a do-or-die game is no exaggeration. But these situations tell us a lot about a team's character. And for some teams, it brings out their absolute best. But for others, it can kind of prove to be an overwhelming scenario to face. And so we'll see how they show up here today. And we'll also get to see what kind of killer instinct they have on the other side. Some teams can get a little too relaxed when they're so comfortably in the driver's seat. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. One gone runner at first. Stepping in for San Diego, Gerald Hayden. Pretty amazing athlete this guy is. Power and speed, quite a threat. I mean, you're talking about someone that could steal your bag and go deep. Bo Jackson, anyone? That's hard hit on the line. Makes the grab, and there's two gone. Man, that's one of those at-bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. Now that designated hitter, Gerald. Hey there. This to third. Off balance speed. There's one. And it's a double play to end the inning. Now that designated hitter. For you growing up in New York City, being you're a big sports fan, tell me about your experience with the Yankees growing up. I really went to Shea Stadium more than I did to Yankee Stadium. I grew up a Phillies fan. There was one game, though, that I went to as a kid. I sat in the upper deck. It was the game that Bo Jackson hit three homers in his first three plate appearances and then hurt his shoulder diving for Deion Sanders inside. This one's into the outfield. Could be extra bases. Around third. He'll score easily. It's 6-1. Everything came together for him. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and ripped it into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ballgame. And now it's Manny Machado. Runner in scoring position, nobody out. Here in game five. On the ground to the left. And that one finds its way through. Fires it to the plate. Not in time. He's safe. A run comes in on the play. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock. And you'll take that anytime you can get him to find a hole. Back in the Bronx, ready to begin the eighth. Now it's the DH, Gerald Hayden. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging, too. Well struck left field, and it's out of here. His sixth of the series, it's 10-3. That's his third straight game with a homer, Singy. This dude is on fire, boo. These kinds of streaks just don't come around too often. Man, he just barely got that one out of here, and you've got to love the effort and laugh to try and bring it back. He had a good shot on it. In an elimination game, you see your season quickly coming to an end. It can be a bit nerve-wracking, but they were able to settle things down, come out and play really good baseball in this one. They get the win, and the series continues. Who knows? Maybe they'll get right back in it. Well, Singy, it wasn't pretty, but here's another look at the final line. Yeah, Boog, this one wasn't close. Not a lot of drama at the end either, and you just don't see a lot of blowouts in the postseason. Final score here today, 10-3. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long.